Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and today I'm going to talk to you about gels to influence the mood of a photograph. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally. So the first thing you do on location is assess that location. What are the strengths and weaknesses? How much gear do I have? How much time do I have? How aggressive can I get visually? Okay, and I was working with a gentleman who looked to me like he could be a film director and we were in this environment that uh, projection kind of a, an arrangement, you know, could be a movie theater. So I used the graphic, if you will, of the main aisle and I put him in the main aisle of the theater. So you've got this kind of, uh, you know, sort of little bit of vertigo behind him here. Here's my subject. He's wearing a hat. Okay. Here he is right here. Okay. Cool. That's a photo subject. Um, Lighting couldn't be simpler. Actually, almost all of this was handheld speed lights, except for the main light, which was on an Avenger C stand, which was right here, and then an Easy Box Hot Shoe Soft Box right here. Okay, two foot, okay, soft box, white interior, very nice light, goes with me everywhere. Okay, simple, clean kind of character lighting, drops a a shadow on the far cheek, all that sort of stuff. We used a tri-grip, a last light tri-grip in here to bounce a little bit of light up into him. But the key to the picture, okay, was defining him against this background. This was a dark theater. It could get really kind of murky if you're not careful. So I gave two speed lights to people who were hand holding them out in the audience right in here. I call this position three quarter back. That's just my language, okay? It's not particularly good English, but it's three quarters of the way to the background of the photograph. And it puts a rim. The speed lights, I have them controlled via my TTL master flash or commander, and they put little rims on his shoulders and the sides of his face and define him against the background. Also has the corollary benefit of lighting the seats that are all in here. But the little kind of luxury item that I'll talk to you about right now is the fact there's a handheld speed light back here. Okay, it's firing down this way, right in here. Okay, so speed light is being handheld, trying to make this thing work here. There we go. There's a speed light coming straight down here, putting a little bit of rim off of him. It could be the projector light at the back of the theater. And projectors, generally speaking, look to the naked eye when you look right at them, cool or blue. Hence, I put a blue gel on it. We call these theatrical blues. There's all sorts of um, gels. I would recommend Lee filters, okay? They make a whole variety of different color correction material. You can just about get any color you want, okay? I just travel with a basic kit. We call them our theatrical gels. That's where we want to get something dramatic and a little bit crazy. And then we also travel with our color correction gels, which we use to respond to very typical lighting scenarios like an incandescent temperature or a fluorescent temperature. Hi, Joe McNally here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. So gels can influence the mood or make a light look like something else. In this case, I'm shooting at 1.4, very shallow depth of field. So you can't even pick up in the photograph that this is actually handheld. There's somebody sitting on the stairs holding it up, you know, like this. And it's got a blue gel on it and it puts that little rim and gives me a little extra dimension to the photograph. So gels, handy thing to travel with. We always go with gels. This is Joe McNally with Adorama TV, and this video segment was about using gels to influence your photographs. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.